What's going on you guys? Today we're learning the song Build a Boat by Colton Dixon. Now, real quick before we get into it, I would like to ask that if you find this guitar tutorial helpful, that you please consider subscribing. That would mean the world to me. Now let's get into it. You are watching. Logan's Lessons. Our capo is going to be on the first fret. I'm going to show you the chord progression first, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing with our right hand. We start with a C major chord. To play a C major chord, we're going to place our third finger on the third fret of the A string, then our middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and our first finger on the first fret of the B string. We go from that C major chord to an F major chord. I like to do the second inversion of an F major chord. Fancy words, all that means is we're going to put our third finger on the third fret of the A string, our pinky finger on the third fret of the D string, our middle finger on the second fret of the G, and our first finger on the first fret of the B string. That's an F major chord. Then we're going to go to an A minor chord. To play an A minor chord, we're going to place our middle finger on the second fret of the D string, our third finger on the second fret of the G, and our first finger on the first fret of the B string. You're going to play your fifth string downwards. Then we're going to go to this G, I think it's a G sus 2 chord, where you're going to put your third finger on the third fret of the low E string, your middle finger on the second fret of the A string, your first finger on the first fret of the B string, and our pinky finger on the third fret of the high E string. Cool. And then we're gonna go back to an F major chord, which we already talked about, okay? So that is the chord progression for the verses and for the chorus. Now, the chorus, the only difference with the chorus is instead of going to this G sus 2, we can just go to a normal G major chord. To play a normal G major chord, you're going to put your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string, your first finger on the second fret of the A string, your third finger on the third fret of your B, and your pinky finger on the third fret of your high E string. Like so. Now, let's talk about the verse in context of our right hand, okay? We're gonna start with our thumb on the A string, on the root note, if you will. So we're gonna play the root note with our thumb. That's the first step. Then, with our middle finger, we're gonna pick the B string. Do that with me. Then we're going to pick our G string with our first finger. Okay? Then we're gonna hit the A string again, the root note, with our thumb. Okay? And then you do that again where you hit the B string, G string and A string again. And then we're gonna hit the B string again. Like so. So that's the first little bit of it. Do that with me. Then right here we hit the B string again, the G string again, the A string, we kind of have that little piece of it again. So we're adding that to what we have. whole little piece again where you go B string, G string, A string, and B string again after what we have already done. So I'll do it slow. I'll do that one more time. And that's the whole picking pattern. That stays exactly the same when we move to the F major chord. The A minor, we split a measure between the A minor and the G sus 2, where we only go through the first half of that. Like so, and then we switch to the G. Do the first half of that one, and then we go to the F and do the whole picking pattern. So if I play through the chords, it'll sound like this. that slowly. That's what you play for the verses. Now, for the pre-chorus, so the part in between the verse and the chorus, we're going to just change the 
chord progression. We're going from an A minor, and we only go through the picking pattern for the first half of the picking pattern. Then we go to an F. Same thing there, C. Same thing there, G sus2. Oh, I'm sorry, actually for the pre-chorus, we're going to do the G sus2, but we're gonna move our pinky off of the first fret, so it's just the B string. So it's technically just a G major chord, but we're playing it different than we would play it here. Like that. So we have A minor, F, C, this version of a G major chord, and that happens twice, and then we get into the chorus. So if I play the entire pre-chorus for you, it'll sound like this. Then the chorus introduces a strumming pattern. So you're gonna to wanna to pick up a pick for this, or you can use your fingernails, that's okay too. But it's gonna sound like this. Not bad, here's an F. So the strumming pattern will be a down, down, up, up, down, down, like that. So we have down, down, up, up, down, down, F, down, down, up, up, down, down, A minor, up, up, down, down on the G, then down, down, up, up, down, down. So like I so as you can see, I can't English, <laughs> you're gonna go from the A minor, down, down, and then to the G, up, up, down, down. Okay, so we have C, down, up, up, down, down, F, down, up, up, down, down, A minor, down, up, up, down, down on the G, and then down. That's how you play the chorus. The only other thing we have to discuss is the tag after the second chorus that kind of transitions you between the second and the third chorus. It's the closest thing we have to a bridge, but I'd really just call it like a refrain. And the chord progression for that is the C, G, F, okay? And we're gonna still do the same strumming pattern as we have in the chorus, but we're gonna split between the C and the G. So we have down, down, up, up, down, down, then full strumming pattern on the F. beginning of the third chorus starts with the same picking pattern, but it's, you play it exactly the same as you play the verse, and then you get into the full chorus, and then it's the ending of the song. And that is how you play Build a Boat by Colton Dixon. If you have a song request, DM me or comment it. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit that bell. I sincerely hope that you're well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching Logan's Lessons.